Hi Giselle, it's Annie. I thought it would be easier if I made you a little video to show you how you can create the weekly modules you want for your practice course shell. Um, because I actually did the same thing for my own practice course shell when I was taking the online certification course. So here we're looking at my practice course shell from way back when. <laughs> and um, as you'll see, I'm in the assignments page of my class. And how I built up my modules was I went through the build content menu. And you'll see that you can select the module page option. And then when you do that, you can name your module like week one and then put a title or, you know, the dates, however you want to do it. And here you can put a little description of the learning outcomes for that week. And then um, just make sure that it's viewable to your users. As shown here, and then you're going to click submit to create the new module. And then once, um, so you'll see something like this once you've created the module. So now you have to fill in the module. So you'll go into, you click the link of the module itself. And then when you go in there, yours isn't going to have content yet like mine does because you haven't built it up. But through the build content area, um, through the assessments area, you'll see you can add, and through the tools area, you can add things like discussion boards, your quizzes, you know. So just kind of look through these menu options and you should see all the tools um, that you'll want to add to build up your module. And then um, you can, you know, see as you build new tools into your module and assignments and all of that, you'll have kind of a table of contents that your students will see on the left side and they can link to them to see the details for each item within your module. And they can submit their assignments right through this module. So you don't have to have them go outside anywhere else to do that. I hope this makes sense, but if you're still confused, you know, please feel free to contact me again. Just send me an email and you're not bothering me at all. I know this is complicated. So I'm very happy to talk with you about this further. I can even talk with you over the phone while you're at your computer if you think that might help. Um, so anyway, good luck and please don't hesitate to contact me if you have further questions. Thank you.